Hello everyone, welcome back to software testing with Jamil. So today we're going to install Maven or on our Windows and I've got Windows 11 installed. So uh, to start off with, there's some prerequisites that you need. You need to have uh, obviously Windows installed on uh, as well as the, you need to have uh, admin privileges for the account you're logged in as. Uh, you need to also have a Java installed, JDK minimum version 8. Uh, I'll drop a link uh, in the description where I showed you guys how to install the latest, which we we got, which is the JDK 19. That's the latest version uh, we've got. And then obviously you also need a command prompt to check when the Maven is installed and or not installed. So, uh, or, or you need the internet access as well. So yeah, make sure you have internet access because you need to download uh, Maven as well. So uh, let's crack on. I mean, uh, okay, so uh, the, obviously, uh, Maven, if you haven't used it yet, it's the uh, design for you know using pumps uh, uh, to standardize your environment. On um, you know, if you're a team with multiple users, you could easily work on that. But in this in this session, I'm just gonna show you how to uh, install it. Uh, then we later on, obviously, I'll show you how to use it as well. So let's start off it. So first, what we do, we get the uh, command prompt, open that up, and once the command prompt is open let's just check so you do check uh maven version right so that shows we do not have a uh, maven installed here so because uh, it doesn't recognize the command line so what we're going to do is we're going to actually um go open up the internet and download it first okay so once our internet's opened Let's bring that on to our main screen. So let's check Maven download. We don't want the dependency. We just want to actually download Maven. So let's go. Uh, so there we go. So latest version is 3.90 as of 17th of March 2023. So we're going to download. So let's get that downloaded uh, so we want zip actually so yeah we want the zip version so let's just download our zip version so that's the zip version there uh, and that's what we're going to download okay so the download is completed um, so we're gonna extract that uh, and then obviously uh, we're gonna put that into our program files so there's a patch so if i go back to downloads so if we get that here and then uh, let's open do we open it no we need to extract it sorry not open so if i go here and then go into your c drive your program files uh, if you haven't got Maven folder, then create a Maven folder, which we haven't or we shouldn't have. Before. Yeah, we haven't. So we're going to create a Maven folder. Yeah, continue with that. So Maven, let's spell it right. So there's our Maven folder. And that's where we're going to put our Maven in there. So, sorry, uh, go back. Let's just select Maven okay extract all in there yeah continue right so that should extract in our maven folder so there you go that's our maven folder and there's our patch and there's our also we should have been boot conf lib license notice and readme so all the documentation is there you don't need to check i mean what you can do if you really want to check uh let's close our command line and reopen it we should it should still it should have still recognize uh it should have still recognize the command mvn version yeah it still doesn't recognize it that is correct because we need to do take few more steps so the first steps to take is environment variable so there we go so we need to open edit environment variable 
once that's open you need to go bottom here so go to environment variables down here open that and you should have various sections of paths there and the first thing we need to do is go here and just there and click on new and once you click on new we need to add maven and home and then add our path to that so our path was let's go there's our path so that's the path we need to add our maven home path here we go so that's been added and then next what we need to do is add the maven directory to the path variable so once that's added um, let's go add the path variable and to add the path variable you should be able to see a path here there so we need to open that path or edit it so you could double click it or edit it so we already look java which we uh, downloaded so you got the java path there what we need to add is if you click on new then so click on new and then obviously that should give you a new path there so what we need to add is the bin directory so let's go add a bin oops sorry uh, it's new so add the bin So what we're saying is that we want this to get the home path so which we already saved as a variable so and then after the home path we want the bin directory so that's the bin directory there and then obviously click ok to that so there you go that's saved now and then we can save that click on ok button and that's saved so if you go back to edit edit sorry not edit edit um, so there you go uh, so uh, now what we need to do is actually ok that and then we could go back to our uh, okay that again and then okay so that's saved so if you open a command line again right and then type in oops sorry uh, mvn and then version there we go nice and easy now that gives us the latest version this is the uh, 3.90 it also tells us the java version which is JDK 19.19.2, which we installed. Uh, like I said, I'll, uh, there's a uh, sorry window. There's a link in the description to show you how to uh, install Java. And now you're ready to use. So um, it's got various benefits, uh, which I'm sure I'll go through in one of my um, one of my uh, tutorials when I show you how to uh, set up a framework uh, using Selenium Java and then you could use a uh, maven to actually um, you know uh, basically set up your framework upload your file to git uh, you know to jenkins run run command line so yeah that's that nice and easy so i hope you like this and if you have make sure you subscribe to my channel and share this video if it's helped you with others as well so it helps them too and i will see you next time